Hello, everybody. I'm back, the crazy cross-stitch lady. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this. Uh, I have just finished uh, my rotation of whips um, after making those, you know, the 483 magnets that I made for my students. Um, but um, I'm glad that I did that. Um, but I'm also glad to be back on my rotation. And I'm gonna try to get a little fancy. Um, I, I, I'm learning how to use this app that I'm using. Um, it, I forgot what the name of it is. Um, I, I can put it in the, the comments um, when I post if you wanna see that. Um, but I should be able to actually insert a still picture in here to show you um, what a project looked like the last time I worked on it and then uh, start the video again. So we'll see if I can do it without making a mess of it. So the first one uh, that I was working on was Old Irish Blessing. And with these, I, I had to put pause on a lot of these projects. So it almost feels like I've been working on these for 20 years. <laughs> but this is what it looked, it will look like when I get finished with it. Um, and so I'm going to pause here and see if I can insert a still photo for you to see what it looked like before. Okay, so this is what I currently have done. Hopefully I won't lose my needle in the process. So let's see how far back to go. There we go. So that's what I've got so far an old Irish blessing and then this next one was a start it's a smaller one um, Lizzie Kate is one of the cross stitch designers there are lots of cross stitch designers but um, I like some of her stuff she she seems to specialize in a lot of little sayings and a lot of people like her um, I like some of her stuff but this was one I felt like I could not pass up because if you know me well at all, you know I am obsessed with my makeup. Um, I think it's an issue. <laughs> it's a problem, but that's okay. I, I am very much in touch with my problem. But this is called Today Was a Total Waste of Makeup. So here's what it will, oh, sorry for the glare. This is, well, let's be smart about this and let's take it out of this little case that looks like a looks like a cd should go in it. it's a jewel case all right there we go oh that's better okay so that's what it will look like and this little button i think they sometimes they'll give you the cloth if i can let's see there we go okay so there's the button and as you can see it goes on the purse so i'm gonna slide this back in here before I lose the little button. And this is my first time, even though I've been stitching for almost 30 years, I think, let's see. Yeah, almost 30, like 28 years. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the first time that I have stitched on linen. Um, this is a 27 count Northern Cross, um, what called bone, is it bone? I seem to like the light colors no, it's a cream. All this, all this stuff's cream. <laughs> but this, this is as far as I have gotten. And just so you know how awesome my husband is, I ran out of one of my colors, but I didn't want to run to town today just to get a skein of floss. And he was going to be in town anyway, and he stopped at Michael's just to get two skeins of floss for me. He is that awesome. He... He supports my addiction very much. <laughs> so this next one was my Michael Jackson one. And um, I will again try to insert a picture so that you can see where I was last time. Okay, so here, um, I this is the progress I made on my black part and then Oh, the shirt, mm, so much confetti. It's like color, 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 just all over the place. But I told myself this next time, I'm like, I have got to just suck it up and get the shirt done because I still have 
you know, uh, glove and microphone and that kind of thing to do, and I need to get with it. So anyway, so that's my rotation. And then apparently I must have some obsession with cream or bone color things. I promise I don't. I really do like other colors, but it just happened to be this way. But this is a 28 count, and when I talk about these numbers, because I'm a teacher, I have to educate you too. Uh, it, that is um, talking about the number of squares per inch. Um, so like a 28 count, this is Joe Blonde, which is an even weave, um, stitched over two, we call it two threads. It's actually, it you would see two holes in the um, fabric. Uh, same as like 14 count Ada where you're just stitching over one square. But this is what it looks like. It's, you know, it's not, you know, you're not going to jump up and down excited about the color. But I thought it was a very appropriate color for this one that I want to do, which I've, I've never done a sampler before. I mean, I've, last little bit, I've been really wanting to try some different things. Um, this is by Silver Creek Samplers. And I am very much a student of the Civil War. It's one of my favorite time periods. And so I bought this. And it's got the different years of the war and um, just a few little things about it. Like it says, um, it was 1861, the Civil War had just begun in 1863. Lincoln declared all slaves free. In 1865, few good men were left alive. Um, I'll pay respects to all I owe and help their seeds of freedom grow. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then uh, Steve is from New York. I'm, of course, from here, Kentucky. Uh, so we were up at the closest LNS, which is um, local need a workshop that we have, which is in Louisville. It's called the Finishing Touch. And I got this, uh, I found these patterns. They have every state, but they have the name of the state and it has like little symbols of the state in it. And I thought it was really cool. So I bought one for him, one for me. I'm gonna put them side by side once I get them done. But this is 14 count Ada. Um, it's a vintage country cream marbled. So it's probably hard to see the marbling in there, but you'll be able to see it once I start working on it. But I thought that was pretty cool for that. And this is Kentucky. And then same material for his. This one, uh, they wanted you to use blue, but I'm like, no, um, I want to put them on the same material. And so then, because I'm kind of getting on the sampler kick here, at least for a little bit, for some of the smaller ones, um, I have to do something teachery, and this is Bobby G Designs. Um, so I want to do this at some point and stick my old name in there. <laughs> and this material, I don't know what I'm gonna stitch on. I'm really wanting to stitch Lucy, but. I don't know. I don't know what's going to go with this, but this is a linen as well. It's a 28 count linen. Oh, I love this. It is so awesome. If I move it, can you see the, they're blue, the blue sparkles. I love this. Oh, hmm. So we'll see what I can come up with. Um, because there's some vanity in me, the one of my bucket list things is that you know the people who win first place in the Lincoln division of the Lincoln Days Art Show get their piece hung up. I think it's on the second floor of the Lincoln Museum. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. I want one of my pieces hanging in the museum. <laughs> so I'm thinking about taking my pattern maker for cross stitch program and taking some pictures of Lincoln like from when he was president and during his boyhood and then his lawyer years in Illinois and putting them together in some type of a collage and put some bunting in there too and just make a large like a 16 by 20 collage of Lincoln. 
uh, and put that in there and see what happens. So we'll see. And then the last little thing I wanted to show you, because I have friends and colleagues who help aid my addiction as I will be helping to aid theirs. Um, my friend Kelly gave me this. This is a needle minder, so it's got a magnet and your needle stays on there so you don't lose it when you're having to like switch threads or anything like that. So um, she gave me this a while back and I just wanted her to know I use Lucy faithfully and I love her very much. So um, that's it. We'll see if I can cobble all these pieces together and actually make it look like a real video. <laughs> and so I um, want you to be creative and be blessed and you all have a wonderful week. Bye. So I wasn't done. <laughs> uh, we'll just use this as a PS. I wanted to show you the expensive thing that I got because I'm addicted. I, I have some issues. We'll just say I've got some issues. So I, I want to be a little more creative with trying to come up with finishes for my stitching pieces and not just framing everything. Because you can do all kinds of things with your stitching. I've done some other things, but not a whole lot. So I bought this matte board. It's it's matte matting that you can put around your photo frames, but it's in a board. This thing is, okay, I can't even get all of it in here, but this is my, I, this is low battery mode, so I'll make this fast. This is a, a 24 by 36. So, I mean, I can use it for Several projects, I think, especially smaller ones, but uh, I paid a lot of money for it, more than I normally would, but I just decided I wanted it, and so I sucked it up and I did it. I don't regret it, but uh, yeah, I, I paid $18, $18, yeah, but it will last me a while, and it's part of my fun stash of money, so it's okay. It's all right. So just wanted to add that in there because um, it's gonna be part of my um, old Irish blessing project that I'm gonna try to finish in that way. So I'll let you see the results of that later. So again, see you all later, bye.